so let's go right now and a better overview the control nodes we won't go too much in details just overall look on what we have it and uh, for details we'll go a little bit more in advanced section so right here you notice we have it for kind of separate sections which have it uh, numbers for the sections for primal section angle or radials we're also going with the parent connections uh, random connections so multi curve connections and also random inputs for the vegetations so first of course we have the primal the connection next we'll have it section angler and you notice this is does not accept input however they will provide output it's just in the input for the information for example in radial you will have radial output on this version we do have expansion on the sections but currently we don't have any additional parameters if we look on other ones for example the parent type information right here we do have a little bit more information um, input you can select what parent you want selected from and as example we're going parent parameters here's a little bit more we and we can connect what select parent we want to use it currently we'll select segment and next we can select what type of parameter we want to connect this so you can see it can become more useful when you connect two specific information and in this case you can connect link to for example width or any other options so let's go next control we have it also on the primitive positions which is going from the um, point of your segment and a vector value will pass it so let's go next we'll have it control we have it a random range select and here's kind of interesting way you can see we have it range selecting and if you want from 0 to 1 you actually need point 0 0.05 and offset 0 0.5 so in this case you can see we have from 0 to 1 value will generate again a random so this is you don't set beginning and end point you set uh, middle point and offset from this middle point Okay, so we'll have it a multi curve where we can specify filters and this is look very familiar with all options angular curves or other as a standard filter option so we can modify and add these to our connections next we'll have it um, we'll go to the controls it's right here same we have a section of the random input and you probably used most of all of this when we go in advance uh, creating plans but random one will provide a very interesting effect and we did it with uh, some plants example if you watch on the grass we did use it to random children options and right here we have a different random inputs that are selected the next we have it random children when you have vegetation link for example to a new child and right here we can add all these different type of the leaves if you remember from our previous tutorial so okay next we also have it spread children that will align and use it again um, kind of going through all those alternate childs connected a different type of randomization same as a sequence randomization when you can in a b c sequence and connecting so alternating kind of going in sequence over your child it's different time randomizations same like to um, this little bit different from previous because you have a two childs you can connect and base it on a threshold it will select one or another one in some cases think um, if you create maybe like winter type you can change colors on the leaves but when you want to remove the leaves or replace them with the dry stuff you can use it this threshold on a, a, and connecting through the seasons for example to this okay so right here you saw we have it all these four sections and again we just very fast going over them so you know the controls options is like it here um, in advanced sections where when we start building we'll look a little bit more closer on them 